Hello, my name is Shalanda Chaudhary and in this video, I'll show how to use Azure Role Based Access Control for authorizing the AKS cluster. So in the previous video, we have already discussed how to enable the AKS Manage Azure Active Directory integration. If you haven't seen this video, I would highly recommend to go through that video and then come back to this video. The link is provided in the description. So let's start. So in this video, I'll be using the same AKS demo cluster, which I have been using for the whole AKS series. So I have created three users. If we'll go to the Azure Active Directory in the users, there are three users which I have created user one, user two and user three. User one has administrative level access because user one is a part of a group which was provided while integrating the Azure Active Directory. And that group has admin level access to the AKS internal resources. So that means user one has admin level access for the internal resources. User two and user three have very limited access. They can only get the credentials for the AKS cluster, but they don't have any permission or the internal resources. So let's check this. Let's open the PowerShell. AZ login. Let's log in with the user too fast. The user is logged in now and let's get the credentials. First, let's remove any cube config file if it's already there. File is removed. Now let's get the credentials. The command is az aks get credentials name of the resource group and the name of the cluster. So let's get these credentials and the cube config file will be created for saving the credentials as well as the contacts, as you can see here. And now let's run the kubectl command. Get all hyphen hyphen all namespaces. We have to authenticate first. and provide the code. It's been through user two and done. And as you can see a lot of errors because user two doesn't have permission to access the internal resources of the cluster. Now let's provide the reader level access for the cluster resources using the Azure RBAC. But before this, we have to enable Azure RBAC into the cluster. But if you'll go to the cluster configuration, you can see the RBAC is already enabled, but this RBAC is for the Kubernetes, which is internal Kubernetes RBAC. And we have to specifically enable Azure RBAC in the AKS cluster. So let's go to PowerShell. Let me first log in with my ID. Let's go back to PowerShell. AZ AKS update. Resource group name, name of the cluster, hyphen hyphen enable Azure RBAC. And the cluster is updating now. I'll pause this video and I'll be back once the cluster is updated. Cluster is updated now. Let's go back to the Azure portal. I am access role assignments and add a role assignment. Search Kubernetes. And there is a RBAC reader role which provides the reader level access to the user. So let's select this role. Select the user to and assign.
now the role is assigned let's go back to powershell az login let's log in with user2 again previously user2 has no permissions to view the cluster resources so let's check if the status has changed let's first delete the cube config file and let's get the credentials cube config file is saved now and let's run the cube ctl command to get the pods we have to first authenticate let's copy this copy the code user2 continue and as you can see now the user2 has read level access but can the user make any changes let's try this get deployment there is a nginx deployment let's scale the deployment kubectl scale replicas to four deployment nginx but as you can see the user doesn't have permission to make these changes so now using the azure role based access control you can provide limited access to your users so now let's create a custom role definition and assign it to user 3 by this way we can customize the permission of the user based on the requirement let's create a json file so this is a role definition where aks deployment right is the name of the role and we are providing the right level access for all the deployments in the whole subscription itself so that means this rule will be applicable to all the aks cluster however we have only one cluster running right now so let's save and create so the command is az role definition create my bad i have to first log in with my user because the user 2 doesn't have permission okay let's run the command again the role is created now let's assign this role to the user 3 and we'll create the role assignment using this command where we are defining the name of the role which we have just created and it's assigned to the user 3 this is the id of the user 3 and the scope is aks demo cluster so let's create this assignment and the assignment is created now now let's go to im role assignments and as you can see aks deployment right role is assigned to user 3 let's go back to powershell and check az login now we'll log in with the user 3 user 3 we are logged in now let's remove the cube config file and let's get the credentials for user 3 the cube config file for the user 3 is created now let's create a deployment nginx1 hyphen f an image is equal to nginx and as you can see the deployment is created which means user 2 can view all the resources can read all the resources but cannot make changes and the user 3 has permission to create or update the deployment if we'll go to the aks demo cluster iam role assignments and if we'll go to the role 
and go to the data actions you can clearly see it can create and update the deployments so to summarize in the previous video first we enabled the aks manage azure active directory integration and then we first enable the azure rbag in the aks cluster and then we assigned the predefined role and afterwards we created a new custom role and, ass and assigned it to user that means using the azure rbag we can now control the permissions of the user for accessing the internal resources of the cluster so that is all for this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much